Hi, this is Crystal, and I am off to Shambhala here on YouTube, and I am an eBay seller, um, planning to get into Amazon soon. I've sold one thing on Amazon, and I have a whole pile of things ready to go to FBA when I start doing FBA, and I just found a few things that I think I'm going to do Merchant Fulfilled. I'm not quite ready to dive into the FBA thing yet. Um, but my channel is about my journey as a relatively new eBay seller. I started selling last February of 2014 and I'm really liking what I'm seeing and I'm doing this very part time. Um, so right now, you know, I'm not doing huge numbers, but uh, uh, I can definitely see the opportunity and I'm very optimistic. Um, but this video, that's just a little bit about me just in case you're new to my videos. This video is about um, a response to a topic or question that was posed in the Pickers Church episode number 15 which was streamed live on October 5th of 2014 um, and I think it's showing there right there in the screen um, they uh, had quite a lengthy discussion about the problem of what to do when you run out of money to source and I it's just funny because I right before they had that they started talking about this I ran into that very problem like I literally am out of money and it's because I am still in a sort of a weak financial position at this time in my life and I not hopeless I'm not complaining I I'm so optimistic I, I'm thrilled actually with where I'm at even though I'm at that point right now where I have to ask myself um, I, 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 I you know do I make sure that I retain what little money I have right now to make sure that things get paid <laughs> um, that are important to get paid I have a child you know food needs to be fed I, I try to convince my kid that he can go three or four days without eating but he just won't listen Ugh, kids today they just have to eat anyways um, so I guess uh, here's a little bit about what happened uh, just I guess so you know and I you know this is normal this is what everybody goes through and this is why I'm so dedicated to making my life better financially and and in all areas of my life um, not only financially and I'm getting there on many levels um, but what happened is I had planned in August the first week of August I had planned a trip to Albuquerque to go visit one of my girlfriends and so I was already sort of I had spent a lot of money uh, to go there and I had limited funds uh, at that time my funds you know were starting to sort of dwindle and I but I wasn't too worried because I knew I could go and I could spend 30 or 40 dollars at a thrift store and and I could you know pick myself back up and start making money again and then continue to reinvest those earnings and I could live off my part-time job and my child support that I get I'm a single mom if I didn't mention that earlier um, you know, I can make it work. However, the car, <laughs> I ended up, I mean, I was literally forced to spend all my working capital that, and, and every dime coming in on my car to keep it running. And I just, I, I have to have my car. So, um, you know, I have done a little bit of sourcing here and there, you know, $20 here, $15 there, um, since, you know, the, um, September, um, and here we are already in October, and I'm still having more car problems, and 
just issues. And then all of a sudden, it's like there was some power in the universe, God, um, whoever <laughs> is out there watching over me, my angels. Um, my brother all of a sudden called me and said, hey, I've got a load of stuff. Because I told him a long time ago that, hey, I'm doing eBay now, so and I know you get a lot of stuff because of the business he's in. He does like home resets for landlords, and there's always like a bunch of stuff that people leave in the houses. And he's like, I've been collecting all this stuff, and I'm going to be out in your area. He lives kind of far away from me. It's like an hour away. So it's not like we get together like a lot. And, he, you know, he's always working. He's a workaholic. Um... So it was just amazing that he called me up out of the blue and, and he brings over a load of stuff and he brought me some really cool stuff and I'm really excited to start getting it posting because I still have a few things that have been lingering that I've been just putting off posting but um, but you know I'm down to like maybe five things from that I've collected you know and they're sort of like buried out in the garage and need to be cleaned up but anyways so I just was so excited that, you know, this is like an opportunity for me to make some money. And then I give him, he only wants like 20% for whatever I sell. And so I'm really excited. And then, um, so that, that's one, that, that's my one solution that I'm going to offer in this video. Um, as far as an immediate thing that you can do to source for eBay if you don't have any money is to tell everybody that you know that you're selling on eBay and you will consign for them um, or whoever people maybe three or four people that you feel comfortable working with or that are likely to um, be able to give you some good stuff and you might even find people just giving you stuff here I was gonna donate this take it um, so that's what I would do but uh, back to the video um, the Pickers Church episode number 15 who was it let me look at my notes Christopher uh, his first thought was it's about money management and frankly that was my thought too because I've always known that I could be a better money manager and there were times in my life where I made really great money and I blew a lot of money. I really did not manage my money um, because I just I had a good income coming in, and I just it, it wasn't as crucial for me at the time. It didn't seem like it, anyways. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty. When you're younger, youth. What is it? What's that saying? Youth is wasted on the young. Ugh. I mean, I did really well in life at a young age and I don't know what happened to me. I became a mother. I got worn out. I'm 45. <laughs> I've been working hard my whole life and now I'm ready to start working smart and have fun doing it. And that's, I feel like eBay and Amazon and just this whole reselling thing is just, it's just a big hoot. I'm loving it. And I love everybody on, on YouTube and everybody in the Pickers, that goes to the Pickers Church um, and the, uh, the meet and greets and the guild day. I love everybody. Um, so anyways, I guess that's enough of that. I'm getting off topic. What I really, on top of this topic, there's uh, one thing that I really wanted to uh, let you guys know about other than my idea for consigning is, you know, Christopher's point about, you know, managing your money. Well, I think that looking at your eBay business, Amazon business as a business and treating it like a business is crucial. And, you know, a, a lot of the successful resellers and retailers, you know, that's what they say. It's like, yeah, you're working out of home, but you still have to treat this like a business. And um, I think a lot of people maybe that are doing this have not been educated about how to, um, you know, the, the, they haven't been educated about the gap rules, the generally, general, what is it, general accounting, wait, generally, general accepted, generally accepted accounting practices. <laughs> I knew I'd get it eventually. Um, and I, because I certainly didn't, I mean, I've had some college education 
I, I mean, I'm like actually halfway to a bachelor's degree, but you know what? I mean, I got some good stuff out of my sociology class. Psychology was awesome. I, I loved hist my history classes. I could tell you some really neat things from history of the Western civilization. But really, I mean, it's not, you know, that sort of vocational skill that's going to help me in business. I never really got any of that from any of my classes. I mean, maybe college algebra, it makes me, I feel competent with math because of college algebra, and I can solve a quadratic equation like nobody's business, but um, it's still not, you know, focused enough on the realities of making it in this world, um, you know, the education that I've received. So now I'm just looking for, to educate myself about things that are going to help me now, and I found this really great resource actually about a year ago and I've been off and on taking some of the classes on here it's called educationportal.com there will be a link below and they have many many classes in business and when I first found them they were totally free and a lot of the classes are not a hundred percent developed but the classes are phenomenal um, and they're so easy to go through. It's like watching YouTube videos. So if you like watching YouTube videos, you will love the way these classes are set up on Education Portal. In fact, let me take you over there. Um, this is the last class I took. I'm in like the third chapter, I think, and I'm almost done. And I got to this computing and interpreting return on assets video. I love this. Because I've always felt like, you know, I know there's like more to this accounting stuff and I kind of understand the basics, but, you know, I'd really like to know the jargon. I'd really like to know the processes. I'd really like to get just get a little more serious about it. And, you know, this these courses here on Education Portal are designed so that you can learn enough to go and take what is called a CLEP test, if you haven't heard of that. Um, I can't remember exactly what it stands for, but it's an acronym for something about college level equivalency placement exam or something like that. Um, don't quote me. <laughs> um, and so you can take these courses here on Education Portal and they should give you, theoretically, I haven't taken any of the tests, enough information to then go and take the test and pass it. So I'm hoping that I can go and take this accounting test. Um, I'm really enjoying this class because right now what I started to do upon Christopher's suggestion, thanks Christopher, um, is to take the time that I have that I'm not outsourcing and really get a grip on accounting and um, and, and to really start fo zeroing in on money management and strategizing and all that stuff. And so that's kind of where I'm at um, right now in my eBay, Amazon online reselling journey. Um, I'm really zeroing in on, on money management, accounting, and things like that. So anyways, I love this, this system that they have in here on Education Portal and I highly recommend that you go on there. You can go on there and get a five-day free trial um, it looked like. I'm on a free trial right now because I was already hooked up with them and when they went pay and I think it's like twenty dollars a month I don't even remember it, it was like four or five months ago that they went on a pay deal and um, I'm still getting it for free. I think they gave it to me for free for like eight months. So I'm kind of like, that's another thing I want to take advantage of all the classes they have on here until the, my free period runs out. But I'll tell you what, I'm probably going to pay for some more of those classes. So uh, anyways, um, and I don't get any money. I'm not an affiliate or anything like that for this, um, this education portal. Although I am going to look into it. I haven't looked into it yet to see if they have an affiliate deal. But I highly recommend that if you want to get serious and business-like and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want to work at your own pace, check out educationportal.com. Excellent, excellent, excellent classes. A lot of classes in business. And uh, thanks for watching.